Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 4 of my Atrio Let's Play series. And today, we have some big goals. So, we have a few goals in mind. Uh, one of them is finally getting these blue mushrooms uh, planted and farmed, because we finally unlocked the planters, wherever they are. Uh... Here we are. And we also got water pumps, bee box, springboards. So that'll be interesting. I, I, I can't remember exactly what those do. I think they're, uh, they work as splitters, if I remember correctly. Uh, and also, ooh, a uh, research booster, which now we can finally use that foreign tech that we found the other episode. Um, and then another goal is to finally expand this uh, light uh, and kind of within the same goal, explore, really. Uh, this one we've been, uh, or I've been, wanting to do for quite a while and I feel like that we can uh, pit, put a bunch more uh, picker pals over here. It looks like there's plenty of uh, fields for these picker pals to pick the glow plants so that shouldn't be too big of a deal and uh, those are the two big goals if we have extra time then I would like to further explore this uh, upgrade but you know we uh, have some stuff that we gotta work on right now before we even get new recipes so yeah, our first goal is to find some honey. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this is the same beehive from last time. And it looks like they did make some honey. So first, uh, I think they'll get mad at me. So let's throw one of these down. Oops. Ran out of a flashlight there. And then let's stun them. Pick up the honey and get the heck out of here. <laughs> okay. And we have plenty of bees. That's why I didn't collect them. Uh, we have... 18 bees. So, yeah. But let's look at the recipe real quick. On the bee box. So, let's make one. And then... Let's get a planter, so we need electrolyte paste. Oh, look at that. The bee bo box spawns bees. Bees will grab seeds from plants and drop them off in your planters. Okay, so yeah, this is what we need. Uh, we need the bees to have a sustainable mushroom farm. So yeah, what we want to do is uh, get some of these planters made. So I'm going to collect some blood ore and some electrolyte paste. Okay, so we have the planters, or should I say we have the electrolyte uh, petals, or paste, sorry. <laughs> uh, and so now we can make one, two, three, oh, four, five. Okay, so we can make five. And also, I am low on battery. Let's get one of those. Okay, so five seems like a good amount. Not too sure if that these will be able to keep up. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Uh, we need a water pump because uh, the water, we need bog water or blood water, bog water from the blood water uh, to water these plants. So, we need to find, like, a spot that has, uh, red water, or blood water, my bad. Which, if I remember, there is some over on this side. Okay, so we found the blood water, and we also found a, uh, pretty big area for these glow plants. So this will be great, uh, to set up some picker pals over here. Uh, but also, we found the place, and I completely forgot to make the water pumps. So, I'm going to have to go back real quick and make 
I think just one of them, but I may need two of them. Okay, so I finally got the pump. So, in theory, we should be able to get everything working now. So, let's place it. Um, I think we want it like this. Yeah. So, let's place it like here. Yeah. Let's place it like that. And then, let's get our planters down. Which we, uh, quick equip, yeah. So I wonder if that'll, no, okay. So yeah, the, you can't use the stuff unless it's here. So you have to apply a number to it. So I'm just going to apply it to number two. And now we can click it over here. And let's... Yet. So, yeah, the water is going to need to come in from this side. So let's have it like this. Two, three, four, five. Just like so. Then let's get our grav. Okay, so you can see right there that it started making some water. So we'll send it this way. And then rotate it like this. And then I think it starts filling up. Yeah, you can see um, they're blue, which means they have water. Yeah, and in case you're curious, I, I was watching some videos on this. That's how I kind of already have like a little idea on how this works. So I think I just... Yeah, I put a seed in. Oops. So it's making one now. There we go. So I'll just go ahead and do this. Then take one. Oh, it doesn't have the... Uh, the water yet. Mm -hmm. I think once everything is growing though, because it takes some time, it should... One pump should be enough. But I don't know, it's kind of slow. And it's all just going into this one. Oh, oops. Uh, okay, I picked that. So let's add some seeds again. Oh, so it just stacks up on blood water. I wonder how many it stacks up. Oh, it probably takes 25. Hmm. You know what? Let's... let's make another pump because we can we have the materials we might as well mm -hmm. and that's just so that we can get this going just a bit faster but for now this has seeds uh, it won't let me take just half so we're just gonna let it go like that but either way it doesn't matter as long as one is grown if we have these bees Then, in theory, they should come out and pick seeds from this blue shroom. Yeah. See? So now they're collecting seeds, and they plant it in another box. And I think the only reason why you don't see anything... Yeah, is because it doesn't have the water it needs. But that's awesome. So we're just going to go ahead and dump these seeds in here. Cause, oh, okay. I don't have any seeds, right? And I don't even know what I'm going to do with these bees now that I think about it. Oh, you need two of them for these bee boxes. Okay. Well, it seems like one bee box does the job for this amount. Later on, I probably will need them. So we will keep them, but... I uh, do not need them immediately, but now that we have this farm, I, I want to go and find that toad uh, because I think it either sucks it all up or it blows it all out, and then I think it can be collected, so then I can just come over, collect it, 
or I could send it into a factory to go ahead and just immediately turn them into uh, blue batteries. Uh, that's the goal, so I might just do that. But for now, we do want to find it, and uh, I'm gonna j I'm just gonna be transparent with you guys. I did watch a little video, so I do know where to find them. Uh, it's like up that way from the uh, base, so that's where we're gonna go. So our research is uh, finally complete. Backpack size increased to 24 slots, so that's really nice. And I think I want to get the uh, longer lasting battery, which it says battery buffs. And this blue one just provides battery. So I don't know if that does increase the battery or if it's just whatever buff there is. <laughs> um, but yeah, either way, we're going to get it. Uh, so I was just working on getting some more light bulbs because we are out. So yeah, let's get eight of these. Or, okay, there we go. And also, I uh, did want to uh, credit that video that I w uh, on how to find the toads. Uh, the YouTuber name is Zahate. So yeah, just wanted to put that in there, give credit where credit is due. But uh, yeah, I started this uh, light bulb line, and we're just going to keep going this way. It's pretty much following this path, and there's some uh, blood water up this way. Don't know if I actually have the glow bulbs to support this, but uh, we'll find out. So I kind of died. <laughs> Uh, we found the blood water, but, uh, problem is, is that I kept running through it, and, you know, how it, like, shows a little animation of it damaging you. I was like, okay, it'll just slowly take down my health, and hopefully I will find, uh, regular ground in enough time. Well, I didn't. So, we're gonna see if we can go around, but, yeah, my body's, like, way up that way. Problem is, is I need some kind of light source. Okay, this is definitely going to be difficult. Problem is, is a broken light post. Okay. Alright, let's go here. And then I think we're just going to go that way and just go for it. And hopefully I survive. Oh! See, I was so close. Look, I was right there. Oh, no. Uh, well, if you guys didn't know, this map is... I'm, I'm, I'm almost absolutely sure this map is the exact same uh, for everybody. So, I bet you they put it like that so that you would die just before you reached it. Just a theory. Just a theory. Okay. But, uh, kind of seems that way. Okay, so while we're making these light bulbs, I actually wanted to take these picker pals, and we might as well just go ahead and see what we can manage over here. So it looks like this side can handle uh, more picker pals. So let's get one more on this side. Uh, where are we at? Oh, I need to get a station, that's right. Uh, dispense chest. Okay, so you know what? We are going to do this when we get back because this is going to take a bit longer. And now our light bulbs are done. Although I am going to make, uh, one more. Okay, so for now, let's just go ahead and throw these back in the chest with some blood ore and electric petals. Okay, let's hope this is, uh, this is enough. I don't even know where we're gonna go. There's so much, uh, blood water over here. Probably be able to call it a blood lake. Okay. So it still hurts even if you go... And you... Walk on the path that's in the water. Why is that not? OK. 
Okay. Why does it show? Okay, so I don't think I can support anything else. So it looks like uh, the globe borbs or whatever they're called uh, will be our priority. Okay, so we were able to get four more uh, picker pal stations. So let's go ahead and get these placed down. And I'm thinking I'm going to place one right here. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to make grav uh, pipes. Grav pipes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we got a few more grav pipes. So let's just send this down this way. Like so. And now he should be getting to work. Yep. And then I'm thinking the next one we place down uh, I was looking over here and there's quite a bit of them over here so I think we'll just place one two like that and then we'll get grav pipes refill my flashlight there we go hopefully this is enough grav pipes go like this this way I think I do need to get a light bulb over here but that shouldn't be too much work oops uh, we want to dismantle this okay so we want to get oh you know what I have light bulbs and we're actually over our limit but this should be good if we do this there we go. Okay, so we just need a few more graph pipes. Okay, so I was kind of concerned uh, about running out later. So I just made a bunch more. And then I should be able to just throw it like this. Yep. There we go. So now we have two more over here. If I remember right, we placed one over here somewhere. Uh, this one, I think. And these fields aren't too bad either. Eh, they kind of end. But I'm thinking we should throw this last one. We have this guy going this way. And he doesn't seem to be picking all of them up. So let's go ahead and throw him... Uh, here. Oops, we want to reverse this. Yeah. There we go. So now we have two guys on this, which even then with two, I don't know if it'll pick all of them up. But now we should be able to increase our pace. You can see stuff backing up. So let's go ahead and get it to 14. There's actually a little thing over here that we can... Okay, so 16 per minute is where we want it. That'll give us 37 light bulbs. So bring that up to 16. Here we go. So here soon, as it slowly dispenses, it should slowly move up to 16. And that should let us get these extra light bulbs. Although we did use a couple to uh, get that started, I think it'll still be okay. So let's continue down here and see if we can get around that blood lake. So I started expanding with these light bulbs and look what I found. found uh, yellow mushrooms, but when I get close, they all go into, uh, into hiding. Um, I also found a respawn point, so that's interesting. But we're going to have to go... Okay, I don't want to die. I don't want to go away. Ooh, that was close. Uh, we ran out of light bulbs. So that's kind of a problem. Oh, and also I died. <laughs> ran out of battery. Okay, it might be... Yeah, it's probably smarter to go this way. There's got to be, like, some good way of resisting this blood water. 
That's the thing. And it's also annoying that this flashlight doesn't really last that long. But you know what, if I remember right, I can actually increase the, uh, the amount of time it lasts. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, so this is where it ends. So I think we might have to just risk it for the biscuit. But I'm not seeing any... Yeah, see, this is all blood water. And I died. This is pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of having a hard time with this. But I, I, I watched that video and it, it showed uh, that you just follow that line. And that's where you find the toads. I'm thinking... We uh, look at this research, and we either, well, we can get more health, but what is this? Increases torch burn duration by 5%, so it's not a huge amount. Okay, this research is actually just really close to being done, and I'd assume if I cancel research, it's just going to make me restart that, so we're going to finish this research first. And then we're going to go here. Uh, but in terms of saving torches. So we have all of these torches coming down here towards this uh, mushroom farm that we have. And you know what I realized? Is that when I was exploring a little bit over here to the side. There's actually some blood water really close to us. It's uh, right over here somewhere just trying to remember it's uh not too far though it's pretty close so oh i think it's up this way but man this flashlight runs out quick uh is it over here no there was some blood water that was like real close to the base and i was like okay that's definitely a better spot not only is it uh better convenience to get to it but also saves me a lot of flashlights so i think it was up this way a bit okay oh you know what i wonder if i can use the dodges to go through that blood water faster Ooh. That might be the strat. Oh, here's some light and a weird structure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna find the blood water. There's some right here, but there was there was some that was closer to the house. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys where that's at. Okay, so I found it. It's just right here. And this is not bad at all. So if I can get a pump going here, then we can just keep this light over here. You know, we'll have to use a couple more lights to light this area up, but that's really not bad. That's, that's, I mean, I'd still consider that part of the base. So we're just going to go and collect all those, those items, which actually be really easy because since I died, I have no inventory. So <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and go collect those real quick. So I went and picked all that stuff up and we went from having 37 light bulbs to 25 if you don't include this one or if you yeah 25 light bulbs so that saved us uh, like 12 light bulbs so that'll definitely help in our search. But for now let's just go ahead and place this like this and we'll just leave it with like a minimum light and we'll go ahead and get this uh, planter set up going again okay so we got this set up again uh, we don't have any more graph pipes but 
this will do the job for now. I did put some blood water in each of them, so uh, it should do uh, pretty decent. And we don't really need... Um, I mean, we do need the batteries, but hopefully we will find our bodies again soon. And actually, let's go ahead and collect these. Thanks for the grav pipes. Okay, so now we have a lot more light bulbs to work with here. So let's move on in this direction. And it stops again, so that's the thing, is like... It looks like there's just a complete barrier, and I don't think there's a way to get past it. I think we're just going to have to run until we get to the other side, and hope that we don't die. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and come back over here, and then let's drop our stuff before we go for it. But we're gonna like dodge through this stuff and see if that works. So let's just go ahead and drop this, all of this right here. Okay. Here we go. Fuck. Never mind. Never mind. I just love running into a pole. It sucks because it's like. It's a very small amount of time that you even have. But let we're just going to go right back to it. I don't even care. We're just going to keep trying until we get it because I feel like this is the method. So, attempt number two. Alright, here we go. Oh, I made it. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> That was a lot better. I don't even know if I should take my stuff or not. Uh. Oh, and I'm running out of... Okay, yep. Holy crap. So, well, we got our stuff back, which is... Uh, awesome. Problem is... Okay, let's do it again. But, okay, so I think these lights can handle. Okay, they can. See, I feel dumb now. Let's go like that. Let's go over here. And then place a light there. Okay. Let's go back over this way. For some reason, I've, I'm pressing the space bar, but it's... Oh, I, it's a sh it's shift. Nope, never mind, it's spacebar. That was weird. For some reason, it would only let me... Oh, I see, I can't dodge if I have something open and shift. Uh, got rid of the light bulbs that I was holding. I was like, what? Okay. So yeah, let's get these light bulbs, and then let's use these light bulbs to discover farther into this field. Okay, let's go this way. All right, when are we gonna discover a toad? Oh, I feel like I hear something. Let's, let's go off this way. See, there's, it looks like those are another type of mushroom. Um. Okay, so there's land. Let's go this way. Ouch. And it looks like we have some some ground here. But I, I'm pretty sure the toads can only be found. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, that's going to be so fun. A care package in the blood lake. Uh, let's... Ooh. Those, like, high-level walls? 
Just trying to look around and discover, and then we'll go ahead and destroy these after, but... I don't know what this is. So that's light bulb number 36. Okay. Let's dismantle this and go back this way. Um, let's see... Okay. So... A lot harder to find the toads than I thought. But let's go this way now. Okay, now we're on our own. We can get the flashlight out. See what we can discover. Oh, man. Oh, well, we still discovered quite a bit. But it looks like... Oh, friendship points. What is that? Okay, we're definitely going to need to expand our glow orb um, farm. Because I want to... I just have, like, such a huge desire to explore, but it's like... There's nothing you can really do unless you have the light bulb capacity to do it. So let's go back for now, and let's look at our glow orb farms and see where we can uh, increase our outputs. Okay, guys, I I hear the toad. I hear the toad. It's nearby. Problem is, I don't know where that is exactly. So, but we can place anywhere within range. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, there it is. Okay, we found it. Oh, okay. I forget that they try to actually hurt you. Oh, don't suck me in. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, how about this? Oh, he needs to eat one, that's right. should work, shouldn't it? That's weird. If I remember right, he sucks it in and then you have to... Okay. Okay, well, we at least found where he's at, so, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a bit more complicating to catch him, but, for some reason, like, I could have sworn that you just have to make him go unconscious, but it might be a higher tier smoke bomb that we need. He did suck it in. That was weird that he didn't, uh... Let's see what we get from this. Stun bomb. See? Told you so. Alright, so let's just get some blue batteries. Uh, and it shouldn't be too difficult to go get that backpack. So, we will be right back. Alright, so we went back and uh, got our stuff. And I just wanted to uh, expand this real quick. To uh, make sure that we're getting all of these grown. And now I can come here and pick these blue mushrooms, which is actually great timing because we need a bunch of batteries. And we should already have a good little collection of mushrooms on top of that. Yes, we have 16, and then here's 9, which I can't remember how many we need. Let's see. I think it was, I think it was 30 something. Uh, 35, okay. But research is complete. 
So that's great. Let's get this uh, better burn duration. Ooh, and more max health might be kind of nice. It actually definitely would be would be nice. Um, but now we want to make a bunch of batteries. And uh, hopefully there will be more blue mushrooms being grown by then. So I didn't realize it, but those blue mushrooms grow really fast. Um, they each take 30 seconds, which may sound like a long time, but when you're out doing other stuff, 30 seconds just flies. But either way, we finally got the 35 that we needed and got a couple more because I'm going to need it soon. But let's go ahead and get the stun bomb, the red battery, red shroom seed, and red shrooms. Which, um, I actually may be able to make a farm right away with planter boxes and bees. So let's get these uh, recipes downloaded. Add in recipes. Okay. And also these uh, red batteries should have some kind of extra buff to them. So I'm kind of interested to see what they do. So yeah, we got to go through a bunch of dialogue again. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, uh, do let me know if you guys are interested in the story. Uh, personally, I'm not, like, crazy interested, so I'm just kind of, like, skim over the, uh, information. But if you would like to, uh, read through all that, which, actually, now that I think about it, you can just pause the video, so... Okay, so we actually need a tornado toad, and it unlocks the tornado toad, the perp shroom, and the perp shroom seed, which, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to catch two of them then, but I got a feeling it's like uh, <clears throat> a not natural spawn area over there. Uh, so since we found one, we'll probably find another, so I'm not too worried about that. But now, okay, so we have red shroom seed, red batteries. Oh, it makes you water resistant, which I think means I can go in that blood water and not get hurt. So that's actually very cool um, and very much needed to say the least. Oh, so there's, uh, Woozy Tears. Uh, I don't think we found any yet, but I saw it as an option on the Picker Pal. So, that is not difficult to make, but we want this. Uh, because I'm pretty sure this is what gets the Tornadoes. You know what? I, I could have sworn in that video it was just a smoke bomb, but I'm going to go back and rewatch it. Uh, but catching that tornado is probably going to have to go for next video. Uh, and also getting the red mushroom farm going for next video. But honestly, that shouldn't take too long. Uh, but yeah, that, that's all the time we have for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed watching this, then please hit that like button. Uh, and if you have any questions or suggestions for the next video, then uh, please leave a comment. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.